What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. This is a Third Person Podcast. My name is Chris, and with me, as always, is my bud, Mike. That's right. That's right. I'm here. He's here. We're here. Guys, you, you guys are here. Thank you for uh, stopping in and checking out the video. Guys, Game of Thrones, Episode 6, Season yes. 7, Beyond the Wall. I mean, just damn it. Another another fantastic episode. I'm Things very are... sad. Uh, you know, sad for a lot sad. of things. Yeah, listen, we're gonna get right into it, guys. We did a little yeah. breakdown this time. We, we're gonna kind of talk about it in sections, uh, just to just get it out there because uh, we want to yeah. talk about the ending a lot. Um, so uh, real quick, Mikey, let's just run over to Ari and Sansa. Talk about that real quick. Um, a little, little weird, wasn't it? Didn't you see that? See the the. I mean, obviously, like we were saying off camera, that that's like that secondary drama. They have to add some something dramatic that's going on in Winterfell. Think? I think it's no, important. It's, it's important. I I kind of, I mean, I love Arya as a character. I'm uh, I kind of don't like her kind of threatening remarks to her. You know what I mean? Look, she doesn't trust her. Si- <sighs> she she now all right. She found the note. She confronted her about the note. Yeah. She's all pissed off. She's like, I would have, I would have died before I made that. You know, I, I did what they wanted me to do. So yeah. Sans is like, you, you don't, you don't know what I've been through. You wouldn't have survived what I've been through. So shut up about it. You know? Yeah. I mean, well, they both, they both, they're both having that sister, a real sister back and forth. Um, you know, everyday kind of argument it right, seems yeah. in their world. You know, it was, it was interesting to, to, uh, to break it down how Arya was breaking down when she was a kid and she was. Um, trying to to shoot the shoot the bow and arrows, and she knew from the from from an early age. I think Ned even knew that um, She's not Arya like, wasn't. Yeah. yeah, Arya wasn't supposed to be the lady like Sansa would would become. Uh, Arya would be the fighter, and I just thought that was a cool story that Arya was um, was taught, you know reminiscing yeah. about with with Sansa how Ned saw Arya hit the bullseye and he was clapping and stuff like that, and that's that's something that she may have. Uh, she thought she may have gotten in trouble for, um, because she's supposed to be a lady. But uh, she said, oh, it was okay because Dad was was clapping for well, me." Well, it just goes to show, you like know? she knows that she's different, and yeah. obviously, she's like, "If I was in your place, I wouldn't have done that." Yeah. Um, you know, it was a pissing contest. It was, a, and then so she, so <clears throat> Sansa goes to Littlefinger and says, "I'm afraid that this is," you know, Arya says to her, threatens her more than once in this episode. She's like, "You know, I wonder what everyone else would think if I showed them this." And Littlefinger says, no, "Look, whatever." I we're recapping it. I don't I don't want to recap it, but the point is is that Sansa's in a, in, in in a hard place. She get, and then mm-hmm. later on when Arya threatens her, she confronts her about seeing all these masks. Like Sansa, she's I think she's understanding that she doesn't know what obviously they don't know each Arya other. Arya doesn't right. They really don't know. Arya each doesn't other. know what she's been through, but she really doesn't yeah. know what Sansa's been through. So it's like they yeah. both have these har- har- harrowing stories, yeah. and they I mean if they just got together and were like, look. I've been through some shit. You've been through some shit. Yeah. Can we just put, you know, which I think is going to happen. Look, they had to confront each other. They had to yeah. go back and forth. Um, how did you feel about Arya threatening her though? Yeah. I mean, that's what I, I don't know. I mean, listen, I don't think that Arya would do anything. I mean, even Littlefinger says that he doesn't, you know, Arya wouldn't betray John and the North right, yeah. and the family and stuff like that. And that's Littlefinger, but he has his own schemes. But I mean, I think it's like a scare tactic. Like I said, it's more of, um, of sister cat fight kind of a thing. They have um, to get, you think it's growing pains. Like they have to get yeah, through well, they all don't, this they before don't they can yet. come together. They don't know each other. You know, they don't know each other anymore. Sansa says it, you know, I, I don't even know who you are. That's obviously a big reason why she went into San, uh, Arya's room in the first place and was sneaking around. Um, I don't think we're going to get much more, <clears throat> Uh, anything much, uh, a lot of drama, much more yeah. too I mean, deep really as far as the drama like, of it. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I think it's going to be a matter of listen. They have to come to a compromise. They have to understand each other. Um, Ari needs to have a little understanding about Sansa's predicament and that. In that, she's yeah. She, I don't think she's when she the note have, was written. She's not really. She's not really putting herself in her shoes and Sansa's shoes. So she's. Well, just she kind of says that if that well, she can do that, which was but, kind but, of interesting too, how she can take physically, on. Physically, yes, but she's not. The, she's not mentally being of, like, listen. I know. She, I know she's been through yeah. a lot. Let me. Let me consider the ramifications of what the situation she was in when that happened, and yeah. you know, like why she would have written that. Anyway, she's whatever. So, like you said, I think. I think when John gets back to both of them, and they and the, John is there, they're going to be like, all right, look, we need to put this stuff down, and let's. Yeah. Just oh, absolutely. There's a bigger. Together, there's a yeah. bigger battle. The Starks are finally together again. Um, Bran might have eventually some insight in this. 
you know, because obviously we know what kind of person Brian is and that he's the all knowing and all this kind of a thing. So he could help, you know, um, I'd like, I'm, I'm looking forward to that. I hope I hope it's like, oh, me episode. too. Me too. Um, you know, um, the what? I want to. I want to just. I want to. I want to move. I want to keep moving forward because I don't want to yeah. make this a forty-minute video. But let's. Yeah. Um, Tyrion and Danny. You know they they talk very briefly. I don't. I think. I think Danny is not so much not trusting Tyrion, yeah. but I think she's pulling back a little bit from him from his counsel because it's interesting what they've I done. Agree. They've taken Tyrion, who's supposed to be like this, like not mastermind, but he's supposed to like be this this tactician. Yeah. And, everything that he's done so far has has either backfired or failed yeah. and that's a very interesting thing because he was like she was like i need you and he's like i'll do i'll do it for you like i'll be that guy and it's failed <laughs> and i enjoy that yeah. i think it's a really cool storytelling i think it's great that they've set this up where it's like this guy's going to help her succeed and he has not yet and i yeah. think that she's seeing that she's got to re rely more on herself now and what she thinks she doesn't necessarily just yeah, exactly she has to take some of some of what she feels maybe her gut feelings and 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 practice them um you know yeah we didn't get much of them you know but we we do we do we do know that um Tyrion is loyal to danny um he has said i had wrote it down um because obviously Tyrion was Tyrion's worried about danny's successor he doesn't want her to do these suicide missions. He doesn't want her what to What happens go, if you yeah. Exactly. He doesn't want to be he doesn't want her to be put in any other um unnecessary circumstances unless it's a, you know there's nothing else that she could possibly do. So he's just trying to protect the interests. He understands right. the world that you know, he understands the world that Danny wants to build. Um he's trying to be um trying to be a friend. He's trying to be the guy friend. to keep her yes. safe. And, right. and he kind of gets on her a little bit. Um, when they were talking in the in um, um, in the in the, in yeah. the room, what's what's the room with the the, the table? War room, yeah. The war room. Yeah, he was kind of getting on her. They were talking about how what what's what are they expecting when they go to King's Landing and Cersei is sending these traps and all these kind of things. And he pretty much not that he's um, being loud to a degree or or being like unruly, but he's kind of he can talk to her. You know, yeah. he can talk to her in a way um, that, you know, that maybe other people can't, you know. Yeah, yeah. So he's very yeah, candid with her. I, and I she, think she, yeah. And she I allows mean, it and, and it's fine. Yeah. So, so she listens, basically. Um, she didn't want to hear it, though, man. She was like, I don't, she's like, I don't, I don't care about that right now. She's like, well, pick my successor when I get the throne. But right now, yeah, like, we have other sure. things to worry about. She, he, and he, so he's trying to put, put, you know the forward and then so later when she gets that raven from yeah. john she's like i'm going and he's like what are you doing he's like you're gonna yeah. you didn't even we just oh my god come on <laughs> come on really That's, and she's like see yeah. you bro well she tells him you know uh, danny tells Tyrion, hey listen you know i listened to your stuff before pretty much um it didn't work i have to uh, i'm not gonna make those mistakes again i have to do what i have to do and she goes off you know yeah and saves the day so which you know, yeah, so let's let's cool. get in, but let's get into that because yeah. I have a question for you. So there were a lot of little yeah. conversations happening on the way to get this white, which was really cool. It was really interesting having these characters. Yeah. I bet you, I bet you they, they were like, "Yeah, this is a good time to get these characters to talk," because they're all very interesting characters. All of them. I they were, them. and they made they made a, that that a big point of to have um, you know conversations between characters that we were hoping to have. Conversations yeah. So with. tell me your favorite conversation. Well, there's a couple. Um, I like. What's your favorite though? Well, let me just tell Rank you my them in couple. order. All right. Well, uh, obviously, John is talking with you know Barrack. He's talking to Jora. Um, he obviously offers Longclaw back. Um, they talk about Lord Mormont and and how he was a great man and all this kind of stuff. And and basically, Jora says no. You know, I I. Um, yeah, uh, he says know. he says he's he's not worthy. He's like I've already he's not worthy my house. of when exactly. that happened, dude. I was like no. No, do not. He, I'm like, dude, don't be a dick and don't take it. And so yeah. I was like, give it back to John. It's his. It, it's he's already, his. he's used no, it. it. G give it back to him. Yeah. I was, so I was it, it like, was, no, you're not doing that. No, it was, there was one thing that Jor had, that, that Jor had said. He's like, take the sword. Um, it's for you and for your children after you. Yeah. Um, it'll serve, you know, it'll serve you well. It'll serve your family it's well changed and now. your it's, future. It's, it's a wolf. It's a wolf. It, well, it is. And he says that, but, but, 
the cool thing about Jorah saying for you, like your successes and for your children ahead, I, I think that they purposely put that in there that John will have a child. Yeah, maybe. Um, and I thought that was interesting. But the Beric John was cool too because the first thing that Beric had said was, um, you know, they, the talked only... about, they, they talked about Ned, but he, he just talked about how their appearances were much different. And that's just all these, you know, you don't look like your father, he says. Yeah. So yeah, I just yeah, thought yeah. I just thought those things really stood out because they're purposely, you know, listen, it's inevitable. We know who John's family is by now. His we're getting now, we're now. really getting all these things. Now they're really putting these clues at hand. I liked how Beric was like, listen, we're the only two people here that have died and come back. So we're like, yeah. we're kind of special here. Um, the, yeah. the the best one for me, though, the, the my hound. favorite conversation was <laughs> Hound and Tormund talking uh, about Brienne and... Yeah. You know, so that was really fun. And um, he's like, are we talking about the same girl? He's like, oh, yeah, we're definitely talking about the same girl. So one of them hates her and the other one loves her. But yeah. he's funny because he says the word cock and he's like, he's like, what's that? He's like, a dick. Oh, it's his dick. And he's yeah. like, he's like, oh, calls him a dick. Yeah, I like that. Dick, yeah. Oh, wait. Oh, that's right. It was the opposite. Sorry. So the, the, like, the like, hound used I the like word pussy. dick. Yeah. Yeah. yeah d- dude, it was great. Like, that was such a cool conversation how it was like, oh, yeah, these two guys are from different sides of the track, so to speak, or it's different sides of the wall. Yeah. And they have the different thing. I thought it was interesting. So that was really fun. Um, and then, and then, dude, that bear, that fucking bear oh, attack. Shit. That was, that was probably one of the scariest things that they've ever done in the show. That was sick, dude. It was. It was like, what is that out there? You know, you could barely see it. You know, dude. Like, what about animal attacks? I don't know about yeah. you, but animal attacks. When I see an animal like an uh, like a legit animal attack, like that shit is scary. Damn nature, you scary. You know, like that's like uh-huh. you don't like nature. Like we are so nothing compared to nature in real life, and uh, like when I mean, you and and now we are fighting. Like like the, did you ever see? Did you ever see the gray with Liam Neeson's? Oh yeah. my god, what a what a crazy like that whole scene in that movie where they get attacked out in the white tundra right. by the where they get, the pack of wolves takes down like that one guy. Dude, it's that is so scary. Yep. So watching them get like decimated by a bear was like insane. And dude, it was it was sick. It was cool with Barrack and his and the flaming dude, sword. That was I love, dude. He's he like, stabs Ding! the bear. Now the bear is burning as he's still you know attacking Thoros. Oh my god, what a bad. sick scene, man! Because you know, in the end, Thoros obviously is the one that brings Barrack uh, yeah. back and forth. And and oh yeah, he him tells him until Thoros time. dies, and he's like, "This is your last life, bro." He's like, "This is your last this life. This is your last life, last life, man." That yep. was very it's a really interesting stuff, man. Like that's just like the whole thing was just. It was. It was very. It was cool with. Um, it was cool with. Uh, you know, basically, listen. We know. We know what happens. They said. You know, the guys find a, a group of 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 whites they and they set the they, they come, the yeah. trap and exactly the the interesting the interesting part of of this episode, especially when we're talking with John and, and their encounters with the whites, um, was the fact that once John kills the one knight, uh, a bunch of them fall. Yeah. Um, Beric points at the end. He points to the Night King when they're all surrounded. Pretty much, it was like a waiting game. They're just trying to freeze John and the guys out. But Beric says, "Listen, you take him out. Whoever." So we get the information in a nutshell. If whoever, uh, whichever knight makes the dead, r- r- yeah, raises the dead. You take if you out. kill that knight, it'll kill the ones that he raises. So basically, Beric says, "You kill him. He raised them all." Yeah. Um, that's what we need to go after, which is cool. So that information right there tells me that, yeah, there'll be a white, uh, a huge war. Yeah, they have tens of thousands of, of whites on their side. But eventually it's going to come down to the point where John's going to kill this guy. Maybe even Barrack, because they talk about the prophecy. They talk about the Lord of Light and what they're there for. Um, like we just said, with Thoros being, you know, with Thoros dying, this is his last life. And maybe this is something that Barrack is supposed to do. Um, because the Lord of Light he isn't said, exactly. He, he even says to John, he's like, "Why would they bring us back?" He's like, yeah. "John, you're not. You didn't get brought back to die right here." Yeah. You know. So obviously, yeah, it was it was just interesting there. stuff because there was like some subtle things that you really have to listen to um, to uh, you know to kind of say, "Oh yeah, all right, this is what they what this is what they mean." Yeah. So I definitely in you know see a huge battle, but eventually. Maybe when the the chips are down and and maybe we think that the good guys aren't going to make it, um, it's just that one blow that takes out the yeah. Night King. Or I mean, so I don't know, man. It was they. So then them getting surrounded like that was crazy. Like the only thing that bothered me about that was huh. you 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 knew that it was going to refreeze. Why didn't you go around the base of your thing and do it there too? You know what I mean? Like break up that ice around there. Like 
while they yeah. were being held off, you could have made it better. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like that could have been avoided. That whole yeah. thing could have been. Anyway, the point is that happens. Danny gets that Raven from Gendry who, who very cool scene where he makes it. You yes, see him drop almost, and you're like, oh, barely. no. I know. And then, and, then the, and then the wall opens. I was like, yes. So, dude, I mean, just how sick was that, dude? Exploding these dudes. Exploding. But they didn't it die. They kept popping the, out of the water, yeah, too. Burning the ice, burning the water. Absolutely uh, insane. The whole the whole thing had me on edge, man. I was like, oh, my God, this is amazing. I can't believe this. And then he throws that damn spear. Oh, like a fucking, like Peyton Manning, you know, Fuck, with man. the arm. Um. Yeah, that that you know, it it was very it was very sad because that was, was yeah, that the was impact. Like, you know, the impact itself was just like it was like getting hit with a bomb or a grenade or something, and just you saw the, the trail. Blood, that, yeah, that the trail all the way and, across the ice, man. Yeah, it was it was. I mean, it was a little sad. You know, it's funny how you love these characters that never speak. That mm-hmm. um, you know, it's 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 a it's a dragon. You know, it's not, um, it's the not dragon, yo. right. Right. So it was, I mean, it's, it's cool how, you know, as a viewer, you get into these characters so yeah, well, much. That's the whole point, man. Like, that's very, why we're doing this whole yeah, show because we talk yeah. about it like it's real. So it's, it, it was sad. Real. It was, it was sad. It's definitely sad. Um, uh, a lot of things. So, so it's Viserion. We're saying it was Viserion. Yeah, Viserion was the one, which is interesting. Uh, Cause I had brought it up uh, previously off camera, but Viserion, you know, is named after her brother Viserys, who she kills. Yeah. Who he's dead. So if you if you <laughs> look if he's dead, if you look at the the correlation, right? Viserys died. Viserys his, his namesake died, and then the dragon died, right? Viserion. Yeah. And now you have Rhaegal, who she ride. No, Rhaegal is is the other is one. The other the green. The, right? the, the, the he's still alive. Yeah. And you were saying that John's gonna end up riding him. Because well, because it's based it's off of dad, the farm. right? Exactly, exactly. I can Rhaegar, see it. So. You know what? My thing, and let me ask what you think about this: is they had to even the odds, right? I mean, Danny swooping through and just we saw how how you know um, Drogon was just burning. You know, so many they they can just torch tens of thousands of these whites, tens of thousands of these humans in King's Landing or whatever. If that if it comes to that, in the blink of an eye, with these dragons, the yeah. dragons are such a vital. Um, you know, it's such a huge asset a big war piece for the but, war. And I bet you Danny's like, damn it, another spear? What the hell? Right. She's probably yeah, like, what so the hell? I thought I'm supposed to be invincible with these things. The Night King needed to, they needed to kind of even the odds, I think. And that's what the show was doing by, um, you know, him oh, that, taking man. taking down. Now screw that, man. I'm pissed off. Dragons. dude. Oh, he, I'm pissed off too. When it's, he it's, raised it's, him at the end, I was like, you son. Of, I mean, obviously right? we knew that was going to happen, but I was like, you son of a bitch. Yeah, like he's so now dumb. we're down. Oh we're down God. a dragon, and now there's one for the other How, side. I'm how? Wondering, what is? Is it gonna? Is he gonna shoot fire or ice now? That's what I was just gonna tell you. Is it gonna shoot ice or, or fire? Maybe a blue fire. I don't know what the heck. Cool. I mean, how can it shoot ice? I, I don't know. There's got to be that winter. Can it blow fire at all? It's attribute. dead. Right. Oh, they're, can gonna, I... it's, they're gonna make it some. They're gonna make it. Do I know. Obviously, cool. they have to do something. Either way, it's still devastating, if, even if it doesn't have fire. But yeah. real quick, a really cool shot was when um, the hound is throwing is throwing shit at the whites, mm. and that's oh, how- and the sword is dragging off from that white. Well, right no, no, before ice. that, before that. So he's throwing it. He hits the one in the face, <laughs> yeah. and it just looks down, and it's just got the this half of the skull, dude. Mm. That was great, and like a little bit of like comic relief, a little bit of levity. But it was like, yeah. And he looks down. He's like looking, and then and then it lands, and it lands in front of him, and they realize, and he's like, "Oh fuck, oh fuck!" Like, I know. Oh, what were you fighting with him in the first place? Why did I do that? Exactly. What are you doing, right? Again, they yeah. made so many mistakes, but dude, and then he drags. But that whole scene that where he's like looking out, he gets hit in the face, and he's looking, and then he's looking, and it's like that was so well done. It was like. It God, was, it was I cool. loved it. It was so cool. I just wanted he to had, mention it. He just had bones as legs, and his it face was, a, was just—it was yeah. just half a head. It was just so. It was cool. It was a cool was shot, so and like I was just saying, like the sword, his sword that was dragging, just dragging right, yeah. over the ice, and dude, yeah. I don't care how many times you've seen dead people come out living people. It's scary yeah. as balls. No matter what, it's still scary, <laughs> especially when they're running and they're swinging and they're swinging like maces and axes and stuff and swords. Yeah. Anyway. Um, let's start wrapping this up, man. Yeah. Um, they've got their, they got a job, man. So very, at the very end, how'd you feel about Danny, that whole situation? I was like, 
I wa- I mean, she's looking at his scars and she's like, oh, snap, this guy has been through some stuff. I think she's yeah. starting to understand. And she says to him, she officially says, okay, look, I'm, I'm with you. We need to get these things done. She's like, I understand now, especially since they killed one of her children. You yeah, know? John apologized. That's the first thing that he says. Like, I'm but so before, sorry. Yeah. How, about, how about the fact that, you know, we, we forgot to say Uncle Benjamin saving the day. So that was, know, that was yeah, John. That was, yeah. John, man. see, John is so, he's such a great, character and he's so much like ned yeah um that he'll you know he'll he'll just sacrifice himself he has before and he's telling well, that's what i said last episode is yeah, that he he's just, just he's the king in the north and they're all like you can't do this he's like well i'm going to this is who yeah. i am i have to do this and he doesn't want that you know he doesn't want that king role he uses it in certain times when he needs to like with danny in the beginning and bending the knee like, yeah he's got the king him, and yeah. all this kind of stuff but yeah john's just like get out of here um if he didn't say that at that moment who knows if if drogon would have been speared next but obviously he almost was you know, yeah almost um we see you know we see danny looking at when they when they're at east watch and danny's just looking at jaws like we got to get out of here wow. and danny you know danny sees the scenes sees john's wounds and 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 she gets a glimpse of what really happened i mean obviously she doesn't know for sure what happened uh, at the night's watch and and why uh, you know why he has these particular wounds, but in the end, it's she's starting it was, to see that he's something more than exactly, and she maybe there's... maybe anticipated or yes, yes. But you see that she's falling for him a bit. I yeah. think, um, I think both of them they had that that um, you know, like I said, John apologizes for this, and Danny says we needed to do this. I needed to see this. Um, you know, Tyrion talked to to Danny earlier and said that John loves her and all. And she's like, "Oh, he's too short," or whatever she says. But yeah, yeah. it was just funny how they were just holding each other's hands. And I think Danny kind she of pulled away. Yeah, yeah, she pulls away, and and maybe that's because she's kind of worried that maybe she is having. Yeah, because it's feelings. not something that she can do right now. Like she's got to stay focused on the task at hand. And plus, yeah. she's like now she's upset and she's mourning her the loss of one of her kids. Um, yeah. So either way, dude. This was a fantastic episode. Um, it was. It was. I think. I think what's going to happen is we're going to. I don't know where this next episode. I really don't know. I don't know. Are they going to fight the king and w- win, or are they going to leave it and then beat the king in the middle? Of, you know, in three episodes of that, and then have to fight. I don't know what's going to happen at this point. I have no clue. I think, I think the finale, finale will most likely be the meeting. Um, I don't think we're going to see any of the Night's King War. That's going to be a next season thing. I think it's going to be everybody meeting up in King's Landing with the Cersei thing. And okay, that's okay, what okay, okay. part of the finale is going to be. Okay. Um, I can see Littlefinger getting axed. I can see, like I said earlier, the drama between Sansa and Arya is going to stop. And John will. That's that's probably what we'll see. We'll probably see that that final reunion of everyone. John I would like that. Turning. I think that would be nice. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I think majority of the episode, the finale, which is also supposed to be like eighty-one minutes, this one was seventy, about seventy-one minutes so or so. Gonna be a little bit longer. So yeah. this should be even longer. We an should get another an hour and good, yeah, yeah, something like that. So yeah, um, I think the finale is going to be fantastic. This episode was 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 insane. I feel bad for poor little Viserion, but uh, uh, you know they needed to even the odds. I'm odd. scared. What happens for them, man? It's going to be pretty crazy. But either yes. way, we're here. <laughs> we're going to finish it out. It's going to be great. Um, yeah. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Mikey, where can they get to us? They can get to us at Third Person Pod on Facebook, of course. Uh, check that out. Leave your comments uh, there. You will also see when we post our new videos on Facebook. Check out our Instagram. We've been posting some cool pictures and things up there. Uh, check it out, Third Person Pod. And, of course, on iTunes. Uh, have a listen uh, on that uh, on that vessel also. And, of course, leave your comments and everything below on the YouTube channel. Uh, we love hearing from you guys. Yep, so thank you for all that. Thank you for all the support. Uh, yeah, you guys can check out stuff inside the description of other things you can check out for us. Um, we're thinking of doing something special for the finale, uh, for a show after the finale. So uh, yes. stay tuned for that. We'll probably do a little teaser video or something like that yes. uh, within yeah, this week. Yeah, I think we should do that. And um, that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you on the finale for Game of Thrones Season 7. Thanks, guys. See you later. Later.